In this video, we will go over different options for adding new items to your labeling templates. Online in the web portal, under Content, Labels, and then on the Templates tab, you can click on any template to edit it. You can click on an empty space in a row to add an item, and you'll see the items are organized into three sections. The guide below will be your resource to understanding these items, and hovering over an item will show you a description below. But let's walk through some of them together real quick. First, the three sections. Items entered on this template will be the same for all the labels that use this template. So if I choose a text item, I can then put in some text and that text will appear the same on every label that uses this template. But if I use the text item under the entered on each label section, then you won't be entering text until you are actually creating the labels using this template. So if you were to create a label or use the bulk import feature with this template, then this would give you a text field to fill in for each label. Some common use cases include things like allergy notices, ingredients, and descriptions, which all require different text for each label. Also in this section, you can add duration times, duration dates, and durations. So let's walk through these descriptions here below really quick and go over the difference between these three items. So if you want to use this template to print out a label for a product that expires after one and a half days, and let's also say that it's Wednesday, January 1st at 8 a.m. when the label is printed, the duration time with a clock symbol will print the time that that label expires, in this case, 8 p.m. The duration date with a calendar symbol will be the date on which it expires. Note that it says formatting is customizable, which means after I select this item, I can use the pencil icon on the template to choose different formats, such as having it print the date, which would be January 2nd, or having it just print the weekday, which would be Thursday. And then finally, the duration with the timer symbol here will read one and a half days. Instead of just expirations, you can also do consume by, sell by, cook time, and thaw times as well. Remember, you won't put in these durations here on the template. This is just the design, how the label appears. You will put values on the labels as you create them, since different labels have different durations. That's why these items appear under the section entered on each label. Finally, you have automatic items, which will print out information automatically, such as the company or location name, the employee's name who's printing out the label, or the date and time that the label is being printed. One final tip here. If you have already built labels using one of your templates, and then you want to make changes to the template, the bulk preview feature here is very nice to show you how all the labels that you have created will look. If you make any changes to the template, the bulk preview will update in real time so that you can see how those changes will affect your current labels before you save the changes. And that covers the basics of adding new items to your label templates. Please see the video description below for more links including videos on cloning, importing, and exporting label templates.